On the evening of the 24th of May 2021, when Kuala Lumpur city commuters were returning home on the LRT metro, a train travelling on the same track but in the opposite direction collided into them. 47 people were seriously hurt, a further 213 with minor injuries. Whilst this is the first serious accident on Kuala Lumpur's urban transport system, there have been others. Let's check them out. And for the superstitious among you, can you spot a recurring calendar day number? On the 27th of October 2006, an LRT train overshot the barrier at Central Timor Station, leaving it dangling in the air around 25 meters or 75 feet over the ground. Thankfully, there were no passengers, only the driver who escaped unharmed. So the train arrived at Central Timor, where all the passengers alighted. Then it proceeded to the stabling area between the station and the tracks. It was here where the train overshot the end of the tracks, crashed through the buffer stop, and then proceeded to crash through a concrete wall with half of the first carriage dangling in the air. You know, like you might do with your leg sitting on a tree on a lazy summer. A worker said there was an electricity substation below. If the train had fallen, it could have blown up. Wow. On the 24th of November 2007, two middle coaches derailed as the train approached Central Timor Station. Yep, the same station as earlier. Unfortunately, I couldn't find a picture for this. The individual train coaches were now separated in different locations along the track. Ten passengers were left stranded, but thankfully none injured. The first reported collision on KL's metro was on the 24th of September 2008. One train collided with another train 200 meters from Bukit Jalil station. The front of one train hit the back of another. A total of 300 people were on board both trains. Four passengers sustained minor injuries and all were sent to the hospital. On the 9th of September 2016, a train on the Kalana Jaya line suddenly stopped between Damai and Dato Karamat stations. The electrical glitch was caused by heavy rains which affected the signalling and communication system. The train's air conditioning and lights went off. You can imagine what kind of crazy panic this would have caused to the people trapped inside. After 20 minutes, the doors were physically open from outside, thus freeing the passengers. But their ordeal didn't end there. People had to walk along the emergency pathway in the rain towards safety at Damai Station. There is a small silver lining to this story. By way of compensation, commuters were given free rides on LRT Kalana Jaya line from September 13 to September 15, 2016. Unfortunately, we have no pictures and limited information in this story, folks. On the 22nd of August 2018, an LRT train came to an abrupt stop at station SS18, who came up with that created name. With the doors malfunctioning, 40 people were trapped inside for 20 minutes. More recently, on the 12th of April 2021, a heavy rainstorm uprooted trees, causing them to fall onto tracks on the Ampang and Sri Petaling lines. The lines were suspended and passengers needed to be evacuated. A Prasarana statement said at least 13 trees were uprooted and fell onto the tracks, which were at ground level. What a storm this must have been. Passengers were trapped for a whopping three hours, with many complaining on social media of lack of updates and information from the authorities, not to mention hunger and tiredness after a long day. A positive side story here is how a family with four children escaped death when the very same storm caused a tree to fall on their home. All were safely rescued without injury. This returns us to the most recent and most catastrophic accident on the 24th of May 2021. One train was an ordinary train carrying passengers, the other was on a test run after an upgrade or refurbishment and thus was empty except for driver. For whatever reason, maybe a simple miscommunication, it was travelling on the same track but in the opposite direction as the other train. The two crashed head-on under the ground between KLCC and Kampung Baru LRT stations. 
So what caused this incredible mistake? Modern transport systems are highly complex. The inherent risk means that accidents can and will occur, even when there is nobody to blame. Sounds strange, right? After all, shouldn't our modern world make accidents less likely? In Malcolm Gladwell's book, What the Dog Saw, he writes about the Space Shuttle Challenger accident in 1986. The experts he interviews speak about how risk levels build up from small, negligible accumulations of risk over time. They call this phenomenon normal accidents. Perhaps the train driver yesterday was tired after a long shift. Perhaps the Rapid KL command center was stressed on how to manage tomorrow's enhanced MCO rules. Perhaps a direction arrow on a piece of paper was misinterpreted or written incorrectly. Any one of these do not cause an accident. Rather, it is the accumulation of small mistakes that can cause a major accident. Did you notice the pattern in accidents and incidents happening on the last week of the month, particularly on day 24? Don't worry, there's no connection, just pure random chance. Finally, let's hope that everyone recovers speedily and without complications.